chapter 21, virus, prokaryote, protus, fungi, uh, test review. Okay, the first thing that you guys want to do is study the stages of bacterial phages and how ba new bacterial phages are produced. Uh, you also want to look at um, the various stages of how a virus is made. Okay, make sure that you are able to name various viruses. Okay, be sure to be able to name various viruses. What does scientists do or what measures do they take to help control uh, diseases that are well known? Okay, what measures do scientists take to control diseases that exist or ones that are well known? Describe how viruses go about making new copies of themselves. Describe how viruses go about making new copies of themselves. Explain and be able to name what the outer coat of a virus is. What is the outer coat of a virus? Can you name it? Explain the steps of a lytic infection. Explain the steps of a lysogenic infection. Differentiate between bacteria and archaea by structures. What structures do bacteria have that archaea do not have and vice versa? Explain how prokaryotes break down dead organisms and what are they called? Name and explain and describe photosynthetic prokaryotes. Be able to list Describe, explain how photosynthetic or autotrophic prokaryotes operate. What are they called? Again, differentiate between bacteria and archaea, making sure that you know the differences between the, the two groups. Uh, define what a photoautotroph is. What is a photoautotroph? Explain what a decomposer is. What do decomposers do? Uh, give examples of decomposers. Be able to describe the various shapes of bacteria. Okay, we went over three different shapes in your notes. Make sure that you understand and can describe each shape. Study the classification cladograms of a protist. How do protists get around? Are they mobile? What structures do they use? Cilia, flagella, how do they move around? Protists are grouped in three to four different groups. Protist-like, excuse me, animal-like, plant-like, fungal-like, how else do scientists differentiate protists other than putting them into those three different groups? Plant-like, fungus-like, animal-like. Make sure you review and understand how each one of those groups are differentiated. Explain the process. What's the name of the process by which bacteria cells carry out quote-unquote bacterial sex? What is that called? when they exchange genetic information between two or more bacteria. Make sure you can explain the various characteristics of protists again. Um, what different groups do scientists put them into? Be able to name various types and give examples of those, diff those three different groups. What role do fungi play in the environment or ecosystem? Make sure that you're able to describe structurally all the parts of a fungus. So review pictures, diagrams, figures that explain the different parts of a fungus. What is chitin? C-H-I-T-I-N. What is that? What does it make up? What does it compose? 
Which part of the fungus is found in the soil? Be able to name that. Describe the types and various types of fung fungus. Okay, be able to give examples of various groups, various types of fungus. Some are heterotrophic, some are autotrophic. Be able to list examples of each group. Again, be able to uh, differentiate between archaea and prokaryote kingdoms or domains. Be able to compare viruses like the West Nile virus, tuber uh, diseases like tuberculosis, diseases like uh, MRSA, and how they affect human beings. What do these diseases and how do they affect human beings? There are the following figures and diagrams that you really want to pay attention to for our test. Uh, figures 21.1 through 21.6. Again, I repeat, 21.1 through 21.26. Uh, the test has, it's heavily composed of pictures and diagrams. So make sure you guys study those pictures and diagrams very thoroughly um, because there are several questions that relate directly to those pictures and diagrams. There are eight true false and 25 multiple choice for a total of 36 questions. Study well, best of luck.